to this special edition. Caleb. Hello, a day with Caleb. Today we are doing Goodwill pickups, and yes, this is from my room. I need to start uh, filming out and about, but most of the time it's I'm running errands or doing like getting off work, or but I need to start making a commitment to film inside stores. I buy stuff and bring it home and film it later. Uh, some stuff, you know, you can't help, like eBay or Macari. If I buy stuff online, obviously, cannot show it. Need to film more in stores, though, and I'm going to try to start doing that. That is my New Year's resolution, even though it's March. Uh, probably April time y'all see this uh so enough rambling enough commitment talk let's dive into goodwill uh i found we did a goodwill run three stores in war robins this is everything i bought most of this was on clearance half off and most of it was very cheap so Taking Care of Business, uh, yes, that song is stuck in my head now, too, but this is, uh, James Belushi, very cool, it's sad to see that, then, of course, I have Apollo 13, I need to check if I have, uh, Apollo 13 to the edge and back, if I do, I will keep this, uh, factory sealed, but Apollo 13, a great Ron Howard film, a great Tom Hanks film. Uh, then I've stepped up my uh, clamshell game. It's been months, I'm saying five or six months. M yeah, f maybe sooner, but I th it's been at least four or five months since I've got clamshell. And this is Victor Borg, great comedy performance. Uh, he does skits, uh, looks like he plays the piano. Very cool. So some clamshell there. Then this is the Babysitter's Club number two video, Dawn in the Haunted House. I believe I have number eight, uh, I'm pretty sure. So, another Babysitter's Club to add to the collection. Very neat. Then some more clamshell. We have Squanto, A Warrior's Tale. Very cool. Then uh, Tonka, The Biggest Show on Wheels, Tough Truck Adventures. So, some Tonka there. Then I have, I thought I had all of these, uh, the Christie films, uh, the sweetest gift I did not have, I have like seven of these, seven or eight of these, so my mom likes to watch it, so we'll pop those in from time to time, then Little Women's Christmas Story, uh, classics for children. So nothing earth shattering, but these were like 25 cents each, and some were half off, 
So, can't go wrong with that. We'll dive into the DVDs now. This is Dave. Uh, I believe I have this on VHS, so an upgrade. Then uh, I do have this Once Upon a Time in the West. I do have this two disc set and I do have this on Blu-ray. But I am keeping this uh, factory sealed. So awesome to get that. Then some Judy Garland in the good old summertime. Uh, love me some Judy Garland. Uh, Van Johnson, his name sounds familiar. Comment down below some Van Johnson films. And then some more Judy Garland. Someone uh, must have dropped their old... Uh, classics DVD collection because there were a bunch there uh, three or four that I really really wanted were really badly scratched these uh, survived the, the scratch they didn't have any scratches so I got them this is the Harvey Girls also has Angela Lansbury uh, Murder She Wrote a bunch of stuff then some Disney, uh, Napoleon, and Samantha. So, can't go wrong with picking up Disney, especially on DVD. Then uh, Closed Circuit, some Eric Bana, The Hulk. Anybody remember that? <laughs> Ain't the Ang Lee Hulk, not the Incredible Hulk, uh, which was Edward Norton. But pretty cool. Rebecca Hall. Was she in. She was in. Was she in Parks and Rec? Or am I thinking of somebody else? Maybe not. Nope. Different. That's a different one. Then some more Doors Day. It happened to Jane. So that's awesome. Then Mad Men, uh, I kind of like a love-hate thing because the cast is phenomenal. The episodes are pretty decent, especially three and four. Uh, and I've met John Hamm personally and Karen Shipka, who is the daughter. I've met both of them. Uh, we met John, if you haven't seen my series uh, celebrities I've met go and watch those but we met John on the set of keeping up with the Joneses super nice guy so I got Mad Men to watch it because I had just seen Million Dollar Arm and you know it's okay it's kind of a slow burn uh, but picked up a season uh, just to have then The Mentalist, the complete first season. I thought I had some of these, but I guess not. I got a big lot on eBay, and I think I had some of these, but I guess sold them. So I picked that up just to try, try it out again. Then some Sam Elliott Western Collection comes with eight films. It's kind of hard to see there, but a couple good westerns. Then this, I could not believe the disc was perfect, mint condition. Arthur's Perfect Christmas. Then this looked cool. I don't know how awesome it is, but that, that cover alone sold me on Silent Night. Looks very interesting, so can't wait to see that. Then we have uh, the Twilight Saga Eclipse. And let me quickly show you. Uh, I do have Eclipse already, but this is a two-disc set. And you know I love me some two-disc sets. And especially the stuff that comes with it. These are just some... 
some like uh, movie shots, movie stills. So that is very cool to have that. Speaking of two disc sets, uh, Yankee Doodle Dandy two disc special edition. That is very cool. Have this on VHS, so this is a super upgrade there. Then gonna be some haters out there, but anytime I can find a Barbie film that is not horribly scratched, at this Goodwill there were probably 12 of the Barbie films. I managed to find one. One out of 12 that was in mint condition wasn't horribly scratched. There were a couple that I could have taken a risk. It was like scratches, a couple of scratches, but you know, I don't want to, if it's more than two scratches, I try and stay away unless it's something very rare. These I see all the time, so you just got to cross your fingers, hope you find one that isn't scratched. And I did. One out of twelve. <laughs> but still a lot of, to go on my Barbie movie collection. I have seven, seven or eight now. I got a bunch of them at a closing uh, rental store. They had them. Then this is an upgrade, just made, uh, Brittany Murphy, Ashton Kutcher, have on VHS, so upgrading to DVD. Same thing, had Striking Distance on VHS, this is an upgrade to DVD. So hope you enjoyed this quick little Goodwill uh, pickups video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. If you're brand new to the channel, subscribe down below. Comment your favorite movie out of this. Do you still collect clamshell? Have you met a celebrity? Uh, anything like that, just comment down below. Share with a movie lover. Until next time, guys, keep collecting.